Alright, welcome back to the Excel model experience from smarthelping.com. I'm Jason Varner, the builder of smarthelping.com and these Excel sheets. Now, this one has been around for a while. It's really simple and ingenious, I think. Um, it takes the cash flow of a business has it growing into perpetuity terminal growth right here three percent and then discounts that cash flow into perpetuity so it assumes you're gonna make money forever at a certain rate and it also and then it just discounts that cash flow now obviously as you can see when you get out here to day 440 every year is actually only adding look at this like you know take a thousand years to add a penny so it really doesn't start you know let's go to year here you're adding 50 cents a year a dollar a year based on a starting you know fifteen dollar net operating income let's say let's just make the numbers bigger we'll do like ten million So, cost of goods sold, let's say, is uh, two million, and operating expenses four million. So you're left with four million dollars in the operating income. You get your, you grow that. You can see even that amount is by your four hundred forty. You're only adding, you know. A hundredths of a penny a year in value. So that's saying, well, here, look, you're, <laughs> you're gonna if you keep growing, you're gonna make this much in one year. But if you discount that back to present value for 439 years, well, it's actually not gonna be worth that much. And then you've got um, the actual valuation is here and I've got different valuations for different discount rates obviously the lower the discount rate the higher the valuation because well that's you know saying the the future of cash is worth you know is not being discounted as much let's say we do you know for startups this is gonna be high we put like 75 percent 50 35 20 so this says if you got a company making four million dollars on their net operating income and you discount that at 75 percent its Gordon valuation is 5.7 million which is only two years worth of you know you might as well just have the keep the business <laughs> But that's assuming a high discount rate of a startup because the cash flows are very unpredictable. Um, so you get when you get into more predictable cash flows, your discount rate can be, you know, a bit more normalized. Uh, but you can see even at uh, a 20% discount, you're getting a 24 million dollar valuation on this. Uh, so, I mean, valuation is a really tricky thing. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can use it. I'm not a certified valuation analyst or anything, but I've just worked with this model a lot with the various projects that I've had to do for clients, so I thought it was um, a good one to show. And here I'm going to reduce the number of decimals so you can see these numbers. There we go. So that's pretty much the whole the whole model. You just put in your terminal growth rate. Let's see if we put that to one percent, these valuations will go down. Um now one interesting or one important note is I'm using net operating income. You could also use EBITDA, which is 
well, net operating income includes depreciation and amortization. EBITDA doesn't. So this would increase your valuations if you used EBITDA because it's saying you got more cash flow coming in at your starting year. Uh, I put together a visual here. You can see as obviously the discount rate gets lower, the valuations get higher. And this can be, there's a lot of uh, different dynamic uses that have been done with the Gordon model because of how it functions and it's taking your light, like a lot of SaaS models will use it because it's taking the lifetime value of a cash flow of future expected cash flows and it's growing it and discounting it at the same time to get to a discounted cash flow value. But this is versatile enough to fit many situations. It's got a bunch of discount rates. Um, it doesn't take too long to build if you got some decent Excel, you know, just normal Excel skills. The formulas in here are not too difficult. Um, you just got your whatever's showing you how much income you're, or cash flow you're generating in your zero, and then you just grow that out and discount it into perpetuity and, and value up the total of each um, discount rate level. Or you could just have one discount rate or one, one valuation. Uh, I guess that's it. And it's because it's so simple, the cost I'm charging for this template is only in to walk through it with you and explain how it works and how it might be used for your own business. I only charge uh, twenty four ninety nine for it, so it's going to be the cheapest model I've done so far. But still, I think it has some value, and you know maybe this spurs some more business engagement between me and whoever's listening to this. So I figure that's probably worth more than any eats set price that I could charge. Alright, uh, have a great day and I'll be back again with some more Excel models to give you.